it's the world's biggest fish market and a magnet for tourists here in bustling central Tokyo. Its pre-dawn tuna auctions draw tens of thousands of visitors a year, and it sells about $14 million worth of seafood a day. You can feel the season just by looking at the fish. I love the energy of the people selling fish here. Our business has a 95-year history, so I have a special attachment to this place and to this store. My husband passed away 21 years ago, but I can still recall him working here with his father. Now my son and a daughter work here. But after 83 years as Japan's kitchen, the historic market will just be a memory. Tsukiji closes its doors on Saturday and heads off to a new home. The market will be on the man-made island of Toyosu. It's only two kilometers away, but it's in a residential neighborhood and difficult to reach by public transportation. City officials say the new $5 billion market has better earthquake resistance and sanitation. I would like to see this new Toyosu market develop into Japan's main market, which adjusts to the trends of the time and help the local community thrive. The move has been delayed several times, and in 2016, toxins were found in soil at the new site. Experts now say it's safe, but many fishmongers at Tsukiji still aren't sure why the market is moving. And according to a recent survey, 80% of them want to stay at the old location. <laughs> the old market is within walking distance of the busy Ginza shopping district in central Tokyo. But the new location is an hour away on foot, and fishmongers are worried they'll lose their customers to the inconvenience. The city has not decided what it'll do with the old market. Olympic organizers want to turn it into a bus terminal for the Summer Games in 2020. But veterans of the market wish they'd been given a say in the future of Tsukiji. People may wonder why we are complaining about such a grand new facility. But the new market is not functional because our opinions were ignored. We are able to swiftly and efficiently deliver fish to the city because vendors, wholesalers and fish traders all operate on the same ground floor. I think this kind of system is one of a kind. The stalls outside the market will keep selling vegetables and souvenirs, so tourists will still have something to explore. But many people in Tokyo are already nostalgic for the buzzing energy of Tsukiji's fish traders. Mayushida, TRT World, Tokyo.